Josh, it is, I have to say, it is a great looking watch, and I didn't get that really from the presentation, uh, so I guess your, your video is even better than Tim Cook's was. What surprised you the most about uh, your test drive of this watch? Uh, you know, I think one of the most surprising things was that it does a lot of what your phone does. I mean, you know, you can make calls on it, you can send text messages on it, you can check your email on it. It's, it's kind of like a little phone on your wrist. The instant complaint, or the instant concern, I should say, uh, after Tim Cook's presentation was battery life. How did you experience the battery life of this watch? I mean, honestly, I thought the battery life was excellent. I, I forgot to mention this in the review, but I charged it every night, and I didn't think about it at all during the day. So I could go through a whole day, not pay any attention to it, and it was fine. Well, what about the fitness suite? I mean, does it measure your heartbeat? Does it measure how long you sleep? Does it measure your steps? Yeah, it, it does. It doesn't do sleep, but it does all of that other stuff. And what's cool about it is that it does it in a way that's really frictionless. It'll track all of that stuff and you can check in on it, but it doesn't force you to engage in some kind of activity. So, I mean, I'm sure you have tried out other uh, smart devices like a Jawbone and a Fitbit, maybe other smart watches like Samsung's. How does this compare to the sort of beginning level of peers? I mean, this blows away other smartwatches. It's definitely the best one you can buy, the best one that's ever been on the market. And I think for fitness bands, I mean, they're gonna be in trouble because this is a much more attractive package and it does all the stuff that a Fitbit does. So if you had uh, $359 of disposable income, um, would you buy it? I would because I spend a lot of money on stuff that I don't necessarily need. Um, I think it's going to be a tougher sell for a lot of people who aren't going to be totally convinced that they need this. What, what is it? Do, you know, my initial thought was for at least uh, grown adults, uh, most people have a nice watch already. Um, you know, an automatic timepiece, maybe something your father gave you, maybe something you got at work. Uh, does this replace a Rolex or a Breitling or uh, even a really nice Seiko? I mean, in terms of looks, I think a traditional watch is still more attractive than this. Uh, but it does this. The Apple Watch does a lot more than those watches, so it's a big trade-off. You know, do you want a beautiful timepiece that's a Swiss movement that's going to last for a hundred years, or do you want cutting-edge technology that does a thousand different things on your wrist? I mean, you really have to be able to make that distinction and, and decide based on those factors.